You are now listening to 1K Away. Hey, how's everybody doing? Well, so first and foremost, just wanted to say thank you to everybody for uh, continuing to listen to us, and uh, thanks for going to our Facebook page at 1K Away uh, and liking and following us. Uh, we've seen a lot of increases in downloads, and uh, also folks uh, just liking our page, so thanks. And uh, someone called our voicemail over at 702-907-6635, so let's just jump right in and let's play the voicemail and uh, see what we're going to be doing next here. Hey, guys. I'm really enjoying 1K Away. I heard you were talking about call centers from your last show, and I ironically got a call from this scam that's going on in India, and they left me this voicemail telling me that I need to call them immediately. I was going to get arrested. So I just thought it would be funny if you guys called it instead and recorded it. So if you want, you can call 253 253- Can't wait to hear it on the next show. Good luck. Wow, that's crazy. Um, so thank you, first of all, for sending us that voicemail. And then on top of that, she sent us an email over at show at 1kaway.com uh, of a copy of the voicemail. So let's see what this uh, scam robocall sounds like here. Issued an arrest warrant against you. Right now, you and your physical property both are being monitored, and it's very important that I do hear back from you as soon as possible before we proceed further in any legal manner. My direct call back number is 253. Thank you. Oh, yeah. A robocall from the IRS? That sounds legit. I mean, in October of last year, I think there were 300 plus associates or call center reps plus management arrested for bribery and false identification and money laundering. So, you know, I don't think this call center learned that lesson. So why don't we give them a call and just see what they sound like and see what kind of script they go by. And uh, I'm not going to be able to do a voice or anything. I'm just going to, I don't know. Freestyle this. Hopefully they answer. Internal Revenue Service, how may I help you? Yeah, um, I just got a voicemail, and it said basically that I needed to give you guys call right away. So I uh, just want to let you know I'm recording this, okay? Okay, sir. Your first name and your last name? Yeah, my first name's Daniel. It's uh, D-A-N-I-E-L. And your last name? Uh, LaRusso. It's L-A-R-U-S-S-O. Okay. Your mailing address? Yeah, my address is 9764, and that's mm-hmm. Jeopardy, uh, J-E-O-P-A-R-D-Y, Lane, and that's in Chicago, Illinois. Okay. The zip, the- and the zip is uh, 60290. Okay, and your social security number? Yeah, um, give me a second. Let me go ahead and get my wallet real quick, okay? Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, so, I mean, just in case, I mean, you guys gave me a call. I mean, I, I don't know. Do you really need my Social Security number? Yes. Okay. Well, it's uh, 702-907-6635. 1565? Yeah, sure. But 1565. Can you repeat again? Ah, I guess. It's uh, 702-907-6635. Does that work for you? Okay. And did you receive any case file number, sir? Uh, no. I, I didn't really get a case number. You did not receive any case file number? No, it wasn't really left on the voicemail just to call you okay, guys back. Please hold the line. I will pull out your case file information, okay? Okay. And this is definitely the IRS? I will let you know. Don't worry. I have to just punch your name, your mailing address, so I can let you know. All right. Well, all right. Well, sir, uh, just in case, what's your name? My name is Michael. Okay, Michael. Um, I appreciate it. Uh, I'm just, I am concerned. I I just don't want to go to jail. I know you guys are monitoring my property, so. I will give you first. I need to verify your information. It is right information or wrong. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. I understand. Thanks. Please hold the line. Yeah, so far. I mean, Michael seems reputable, right? He doesn't sound like a scammer. Not at all. 
Oh, he sounds legit. Right now, so you have given me the oh, wrong crap. information. I think he caught me. Uh, I got to get off a of mute here. Hello? Yeah, yeah. Michael, are you there? You have given me the wrong information, sir. Uh, that's not possible. My name's Daniel LaRusso. I live on 9764 Jeopardy Lane, Chicago, Illinois, 60290. That's me. You are giving me a wrong social security number. It is no. not showing in the system. Well, I think you need to check your system again. I don't Why know. are you doing so that? Why what are you, what are you talking that? about? Don't argue You're with me. me Why are you calling me? Number. You're the IRS. You should have my information already. Why do, you, why do I need to get What? You are giving me a wrong your social security number. No, that's my social. So why don't you check it again? Check it in your shut system. Your mouth. What? Shut my mouth. I want to speak to your supervisor. You don't tell me to shut my mouth. I said shut your mouth. <laughs> You've been yeah. watching too many Trump videos, buddy. What's your name? You want my name? Yeah, why write not? Down. All right. I'll write it down, Michael. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. What's your name, Michael? Tell me, okay. please. My first name is Michael. Ooh. My last name is Lee. Michael Lee. That sounds real. Yes. Yeah, I hope you rot in okay. an India prison. See Bye-bye. Ya. Bye-bye. Uh, bye-bye. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's freaking crazy. That doesn't make any sense. Let's get Coco on the line real quick. What's up, guys? Man, did you hear that voicemail, man? Yes, I heard it. Isn't that stupid, man? <laughs> Isn't that crazy? It's fucking stupid as hell, dude, man. Fucking those India call centers. Hello, my name is Michael. How are you today? Oh, man. Like, You're, you're worse with accents fuck? even on the phone, man. That's a I know, it's pretty bad, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So, you know, Daniel LaRusso, that's, uh, you know who that is? Uh, sounds familiar as hell. Cobra Kai. Uh, little, I think Cobra yeah, Kai. Oh, wax off, wax on, wax off. Wax Mr. on, wax off. <laughs> As Daniel's son from Karate Kid. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. I think Daniel's son. Daniel's son. I was going to say that, but I was like, nah, I don't want to give it away too early. Oh my God. And then, dude, I can't, I can't believe that fucking shit. But hey, more impressively, uh, one of our first fucking call-ins was a female. I I know, man. Ain't that great, man? We, we're freaking hitting all kind of demographics, man. We got all Hell kinds yeah. of listeners. Heck <laughs> yeah. And I mean, hey, guys, if anyone else wants to call in, guys, like I said, man, we'll we'll take suggestions. You want to send us in stuff to do, you know, we're more than happy to fucking uh, do some dirty work for you. Yeah. Hey, man, did, I didn't tell you, man. Do you, um, we've got a caller from, uh, or not a caller, but a listener from Australia, man. What? Yeah, isn't that crazy? We've got a listener from Australia. We've got a bunch of listeners in California, New York, Virginia, North, South Carolina, Georgia, of course, Florida. So it's pretty crazy, man. We've got listeners like it's got like pockets of listeners from everywhere right now. They must really like my accents. I don't know. I think that's what it was. I think it was because I was talking about Mel Gibson and Braveheart and stuff. Uh, uh, definitely. Yeah, they, yeah. they love your mo- movie knowledge. Yeah, that's probably what it was. They will never <laughs> take our freedom. <laughs> Hey, did, oh, God. did that did that uh, address sound familiar, man? Oh yeah, dude. Um, fuck. So it's kind of funny that you bring that up because, as you know, you, you all know, I, I work in a call center myself. So yeah. you know, we actually have when we get people that are screwing with us on the other end, we actually have a list of fake addresses, and that one's on there. And if I recall correctly, uh, Mr. Al Bundy. Uh, Oh, yeah. there for married with children oh really you think so yeah <laughs> that's exactly it man nine seven six four jeopardy lane that's freaking what married with children man that is married with children you probably should have been in with the name al bunny i think that would have worked even better i would have you know i would have but i, f- I couldn't remember the freaking name of the club what was the name of his club Oh, dude, I don't have a fucking clue. Oh, man. It was like something, oh, man, this is going to kill me. But it was like something, it was like an all-man's club or something. I can't remember. I just remember he was the star quarterback or something like that. Oh, yeah, a star high school quarterback? Yeah. Aaron shoe salesman. It was like No Man or something like that was the name of the group. I can't remember. Ah, damn it. But, yeah, that's his funny. Da- his daughter, Christina Applegate, though, was hot as hell. Oh, she was for a moment. Now, I don't know. She's looking kind of uh, Skeletor-like. Uh, you, I don't know. Like I said, was. What well, was. You're right. You're right. She was. She was. But, yeah, man, freaking, that was so funny. You guys got a list of fake addresses? Like, what, what other addresses are on there? Oh, shit, we got the Munsters address. Um, got the Beverly Hillbillies address. Uh I know that uh, a couple of people like The Simpsons, so they use Mr. Burns' address just to kind of name a few. But yeah, there's like, it's funny as hell. And that's what I'm talking about. You get people that screw with you and 
you know, refs get a little frustrated because they're there trying to work hard too. So yeah, give them give them some give them a little bit of fake information when someone's screwing with you just to kind of. You know, I, I don't want my people cussing nobody out on the other side of the phone, so have a little bit of fun with them here. Give them a fake address. Yeah. Here you go. Yeah. Would you ever tell somebody on the phone, though, to shut up once you got the wrong info? Um, Me personally, no, just in case my boss is listening. Yeah. Um, but um, have I heard it? Yes. You have, really? I have heard it. Michael Lee sounded like he was cracking up, though. He was like, shut up. And then the second time, he, it sounded like he was like saying shut up and just cracking up afterwards. Yeah, call centers uh, like that. Either that guy's not going to work there too long, or that's kind of the norm. And uh, <laughs> oh, I bet it's it is definitely a fucking scam. Oh, I mean, yeah. that, that guy didn't. That guy didn't even try to like help. Like he went right away to like the shut up thing. Oh, I, like, bet yeah, was, no, like, I bet it was. I bet it was. That, 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 that's my so, social man. He's like, oh no, you lied to me. You shut up. I know, wrong social. <laughs> it's not the right social. Ah, oh, never mind. We get, we're horrible. Yeah, good accents. accent, buddy. Good accent, yeah, buddy. Yeah. That was horrible. I don't want to do that accent. That was a bad accent. I don't know what you like to watch on every today. Oh, that's now I'm offended. That's now we've crossed the line. I think we've <laughs> lost we've lost listeners. No India calls for us now. Oh man. Well then I, I won't bring up my Australia accent, mate. No, no, no. Uh, we <laughs> we'll lose wanna, the one listener we got down there. We don't want to offend our one listener. <laughs> so uh yeah, so anyways, you know, I mean just uh got a little something for this Saturday, but uh just wanted to say thanks everybody for listening in and uh I don't know, like uh, Coco was saying, basically we've got our Facebook page at 1KOA, so definitely like and follow us. And uh, we've got an email address. And uh, I don't know, we've got people calling us now, so that's cool. Heck yeah, guys. And, you know, keep liking that Facebook page. Um, you know, keep keep doing the downloads. Please feel free to comment. You know, we throw stuff out there. We'd love to get a little bit of feedback. We'd love to kind of hear what you have to say about the show. Um, you know, appreciate all the new listeners, um, you know, all the friends, um, a JJ squad there, um, you know, appreciate y'all. Did you just do a um, shout out? I did a shout out, man. The, First the, shout out on the, the JJ show. squad? What, who's the, the JJ, JJ squad? squad. I'm a little bit of a gamer, so it's uh, kind of like my gamer squad. Oh, um, you know, I've got a, I got a few of them. Uh, what game are you who playing? Are, uh, Oh man! I, and until so, until they want to donate some money to our cause, I don't want because I've donated money to their game. I don't want to. Uh... <laughs> oh, this sounds real nerdy, man. We got some gamers yeah. listening to us. Oh yeah, dude. Why not? Do they have girlfriends? I don't know. I haven't got that in depth in the conversation <laughs> yet. But oh. but the, I, I'll tell you what, though, man. The, the the squad I'm on, like, there's people all over the world all over the u.s there's this one kid uh in poland that fucking plays uh with us i mean there's i wouldn't be surprised if uh, our australian listener is actually from the squad nice maybe we'll get a poland listener maybe he'll like recommend us or have share us with folks i don't know that's right i mean hopefully it is long uh, i do know that he said that um kind of funny um that his mom was taking away his phone because his grades kind of dropped, so he wasn't able to play as much, oh, but he's able concerning. to listen. This is concerning. <laughs> oh, gosh. Never mind. I don't know if we want him to he's listen. He's 17, man. He's oh, 17. No. He's not I, like 12, okay? I don't feel comfortable with this conversation any longer. <laughs> Did yeah. I mention this is recorded? <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's I, every time you call me for some reason it's recorded uh, even when it's not on the show uh, i don't know yeah well you know it's it's entertainment for later i don't know anything but anyways <laughs> all, right, all right all right so we'll, we'll go ahead and go but anyways uh no thanks everybody um hope y'all have a great rest of the week and uh look for our show on wednesday what's what's our show on wednesday about anyways i forgot oh man i tell you what drugs are bad okay drugs, oh my gosh are you gonna do that too <laughs> are you gonna do that impression Drugs are bad, okay? Oh, God. That was, that was actually pretty good. Come on, now. Uh, I don't know. We'll get some nah, our show. <laughs> we, got, we got a show on drugs, guys. So, um, yeah. me and Kiko here really don't have too much experience overall with drugs. So, if you want to laugh at a couple guys trying to actually talk about the drug experiences, tune in. <laughs> and then, please, email us, call us, Facebook message us. On how retarded we sound on drugs. Oh, uh, we're going to get a <laughs> billion messages. Without a doubt. <laughs> All right, well, till Wednesday or whatever, you guys, uh, thanks. And uh, thanks for listening, y'all. Have a great week. Peace out. See y'all.